The Boeing Pelican Ultra was a conceptual, supermassive cargo aircraft designed in the early 2000s by Boeing Phantom Works. This ground effect aircraft, a Kronoplan, was envisioned to operate just above water surfaces using the wing and ground WD Wig effect to enhance lift and fuel efficiency. The Pelican was designed to be twice the size of an Antonov and 225 with a wingspan of 500 feet, 152 meters, and the ability to carry 1,400 tons of cargo, nearly 10 times more than a C-5 Galaxy. The aircraft could cruise at Mach 0.4, 300 miles per hour, at low altitudes over water or reach 20,000 feet for transcontinental flights. It was meant to revolutionize military logistics and heavy cargo transport, but the project was eventually shelved due to operational challenges, cost, and changing priorities. Despite its cancellation, the Pelican ULTRA remains one of the most ambitious aircraft concepts ever envisioned. The Russian Mi-32 was a conceptual, massive heavy-lift helicopter designed to carry extreme payloads, surpassing even the Mil-Mi-26, the largest operational helicopter today. Developed by Mil Design Bureau, the MMI-32 was envisioned as a twin fuselage, tandem rotor behemoth, capable of lifting military vehicles, construction equipment, and even aircraft components. Its unique dual rotor system would have eliminated the need for a tail rotor, maximizing lift and stability. With a projected payload capacity exceeding 50 tons, it was intended for military, industrial, and humanitarian operations. However, due to budget constraints and technical challenges, the MI-32 never moved beyond the concept stage. Despite its cancellation, the idea of ultra-heavy lift helicopters continues to inspire modern aviation, influencing future high-capacity rotorcraft designs. The NASA X-59 QSST, Quiet Supersonic Technology, is an experimental supersonic aircraft designed to fly faster than sound while producing minimal noise. Developed with Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, the X-59 aims to prove that supersonic flight over land can be practical and quiet. It uses a slender fuselage, unique nose design, and advanced aerodynamics to reduce the traditional sonic boom to a soft sonic thump. Flying at Mach 1.4, 925 miles per hour, at 55,000 feet, the X-59 will conduct test flights over U.S. cities to assess public reaction to noise levels. If successful, it could lead to the development of supersonic commercial jets, significantly reducing travel times. Challenges include fuel efficiency, regulatory approval, and costs. But the X-59 is a major step toward a new era of fast, quiet air travel. The Aero BYA-1 is a revolutionary hydrogen-powered private jet designed to make air travel more sustainable. Using liquid hydrogen fuel cells, it produces zero emissions, drastically reducing the environmental impact of aviation. Unlike traditional jets, the BYA-1 offers whisper-quiet operation, longer range, and impressive fuel efficiency, making it a game-changer for private and business aviation. Advanced hydrogen storage and propulsion systems ensure a smooth and powerful flight, all while prioritizing sustainability. As the demand for green aviation grows, the BYA-1 represents the future, where luxury, performance, and eco-conscious technology unite to redefine air travel. China is developing a sixth-generation fighter jet to compete with the U.S. next-generation air dominance NGAD program, which is estimated to cost $20 billion per jet, including research, production, and operations. While China hasn't revealed its budget, its sixth-gen fighter is expected to feature AI-driven autonomy, advanced stealth, hypersonic capability, and directed energy weapons. Developed by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, SAC, it may also integrate swarming drones, adaptive engines, and electronic warfare. EW systems. If successful, this jet could challenge U.S. air superiority and reshape future warfare. However, China faces challenges in AI development, sensor fusion, and next-gen materials. 
As the global sixth-gen arms race intensifies, China, the US, and Europe are all pushing the boundaries of air combat technology for dominance in future conflicts. The Nord 500 was a revolutionary 1950s French aircraft prototype that could have changed aviation history had it reached production. Designed by Nord Aviation, it was a high-speed, low-altitude attack aircraft with a unique design featuring a jet engine mounted at the nose and an elliptical wing shape to improve maneuverability. The Nord 500 was intended to be a small, fast and agile plane, ideal for close air support missions and intercepting enemy bombers at low altitudes. Despite its innovative design, the aircraft faced technical challenges, limited resources and shifting military priorities leading to the cancellation of the program after a few prototypes were built. The Nord 500 could have redefined tactical aviation with its versatile design and cutting-edge technology, but it never made it into widespread use. Still, it remains an intriguing example of mid-century aviation innovation and ambition. The Vickers Swallow was an ambitious swing-wing aircraft concept developed in the 1950s by Vickers Armstrong, under the leadership of Barnes Wallace, the visionary engineer behind the bouncing bomb. The Swallow featured a variable geometry wing design, allowing it to adjust wing angles mid-flight, optimizing aerodynamics for both supersonic speeds and efficient subsonic cruising. This innovation could have revolutionized military and commercial aviation, reducing drag and improving fuel efficiency. Despite its promise, the project was abandoned due to funding cuts and shifting priorities, but its groundbreaking swing-wing technology later influenced aircraft like the F-14 Tomcat, Panavia Tornado, and MiG-23. The Vickers Swallow remains one of aviation's greatest what-ifs, a lost opportunity that could have reshaped supersonic flight in future aerospace engineering. The SkyDrive SD-05 is a next-generation electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL flying car designed to revolutionize urban air mobility. Developed by SkyDrive Inc., this sleek two-seater is powered by multiple electric rotors, ensuring stability, safety, and zero-emission flight. It boasts a cruising speed of 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour, and a range of 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles, making it ideal for short-distance aerial travel to bypass traffic congestion. Set to debut at the 2025 Osaka Expo, the SD-05's compact design allows takeoff and landing in small urban spaces, perfect for air taxis and personal transport. As battery technology, autonomous flight systems, and air traffic management advance, the SkyDrive SD-05 brings us closer to a future where flying cars seamlessly integrate into modern cities. A ring-wing plane is a futuristic aircraft design featuring a circular or closed-loop wing structure that enhances aerodynamics, stability, and fuel efficiency. Unlike conventional planes with separate wings, the continuous ring-wing reduces drag, improves lift distribution, and offers greater maneuverability. This design could revolutionize commercial aviation, military jets, and UAVs, providing better flight control, reduced fuel consumption, and quieter operation. Additionally, ring-wing aircraft could support vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, making them ideal for urban air mobility and next-generation transport. However, challenges include structural feasibility, material constraints, and precise control mechanisms. If successfully developed, ring-wing planes could transform air travel making aviation more efficient, sustainable, and adaptable to future technological advancements. Leo Flight's personal flying cars represent the future of urban air mobility, combining electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL technology with the convenience of a personal vehicle. Designed for efficient, safe, and sustainable air travel, these flying cars aim to revolutionize daily commutes by eliminating traffic congestion and reducing travel time. The Leo Coupe, one of the company's leading concepts, features a compact aerodynamic design 
fully electric propulsion, and advanced flight stabilization systems. It's designed for point-to-point -point travel, taking off and landing vertically, making it ideal for urban and suburban transportation. With increasing advancements in battery technology, AI-assisted flight controls, and air traffic management, personal flying cars could soon become a reality, transforming the way we move and bringing us closer to the long-envisioned Jetsons-style future of transportation. The legend of the Nazi UFOs stems from conspiracy theories and speculative claims about advanced, disc-shaped aircraft allegedly developed by Nazi Germany during World War II. According to these theories, the Nazis experimented with anti-gravity propulsion, secret underground bases, and futuristic flying saucers. With projects like the Haunabu, Vriel, and Die Glock, the Bell, these supposed craft were believed to use electromagnetic or exotic propulsion systems far beyond the technology of the time. While no solid evidence exists, some claim that after the war, Nazi scientists took their knowledge to the US and Soviet Union, influencing Cold War aerospace advancements. Others believe remnants of these projects disappeared into Antarctica or secret bases. Though largely dismissed as fiction, Nazi UFO myths remain a popular topic in alternative history, sci-fi, and conspiracy circles. The Howard DBA Big Dam Airplane was a proposed massive transport aircraft designed by aviation pioneer Ben Howard to carry unprecedented payloads over long distances. It featured a huge wingspan, powerful engines, and advanced aerodynamics, making it ideal for military and commercial transport. The goal was to create a high-capacity, long-range aircraft capable of revolutionizing aviation. However, the project never progressed beyond the conceptual stage due to technological and economic challenges. Despite its cancellation, the Howard DBA concept influenced future super-heavy transport aircraft, such as the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy and Antonov and Tu-25 Maria. Though never built, it remains a fascinating what-if in aviation history, showcasing early ambitions for giant aircraft long before modern engineering made them possible. The supersonic future we almost got promised ultra-fast air travel with aircraft like Concorde, Boeing 2707, and Tupolev Tu-144 aiming to make supersonic passenger jets the norm. The Concorde, the only successful supersonic airliner, flew at Mach 2.04, 1,354 miles per hour, cutting flight times in half like New York to London in just 3.5 hours. However, high operating costs, fuel inefficiency, and sonic boom restrictions led to its retirement. Other projects like the Boeing 2707 SST were canceled due to economic and environmental concerns. Today, companies like Boom Supersonic and NASA's X-59 Qi SST are reviving the dream of quiet, efficient supersonic jets, aiming to bring back the future of high-speed travel that once seemed inevitable but never fully materialized. The Convair Model 49 was an experimental jet-powered bomber developed in the late 1940s by Convair. It featured a tailless delta wing design intended to provide improved speed and maneuverability compared to conventional bombers. The aircraft was powered by twin engines mounted on the rear to reduce drag. Despite its innovative design, the Model 49 never went beyond the prototype stage due to technical challenges and rising costs. Although canceled, it influenced later aircraft designs, including the Northrop YB-49 flying wing and other advanced military jets showcasing post-war aviation innovation. The French Leduc 022 was an experimental ramjet-powered fighter developed in the 1950s as an evolution of the Leduc 010 and 021. Designed for high-speed interception, it featured a hybrid propulsion system using a turbojet for takeoff and a ramjet for supersonic speeds. Its tubular fuselage blended wing body design and cockpit integrated into the air intake made it highly innovative. The Leduc 022 was intended to exceed Mach 2, 
but its development was halted in 1958 due to budget constraints and the rise of more advanced jet fighters. Though never mass-produced, it provided crucial insights into ramjet technology, influencing future high-speed aircraft and missile development. Despite its cancellation, the Leduc 022 remains a symbol of France's pioneering work in supersonic aviation. The Griffith 5TO vertical takeoff and landing aircraft was a 1950s experimental jet concept designed to explore vertical takeoff and transition to horizontal flight without requiring runways. It aimed to use tilting jet engines to achieve a controlled vertical ascent, then shift to conventional forward flight. This early VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, research was inspired by rapid advancements in jet propulsion and military aviation. However, challenges such as engine efficiency, stability, and control complexity led to its cancellation before reaching full development. Despite this, the Griffith VTO helped pave the way for future VTOL aircraft, influencing designs like the Harrier Jump Jet, F-35B, and modern air mobility vehicles. Its innovations remain crucial to the ongoing development of vertical takeoff fighter jets, drones, and advanced urban transport systems.